San Diego Padres. And here's a team that's um, 83 is the over-under for the San Diego Padres. 83. Anybody uh, like that number, okay? 83 for the Padres. To win the uh, American League, uh, to win the National League West, they are 12-1. to 1. Not enough. But to get to the World Series and win the World Series, the San Diego Padres are 60-1. to 1. That's a little better, okay? Now, you take a look at this Padre team, and there's a lot of ifs. We should do a show called If. Maybe, hey, Andy, how about this? On Sunday on Sirius, we have a segment called If, okay? It'll be the If segment. It's better than the TIT segment, and it's better than talking about Andrea's bus. We can't do that every week. Will Manny Machado bounce back in his second year with San Diego? So far, I don't see an if there. Will Eric Hosmer put together a complete season? Will Tommy Pham continue to be among the most productive players in the game in San Diego? Will the Tommy John Trio, how about that? If you ever need anybody for a bar mitzvah or a wedding or something, hire the Tommy John Trio. And who is it? Chris Paddock. Denelson Lamette and Garrett Richards. Could they be all dominant this year? Will Fernando Tatis play a whole season? Okay. This is an interesting team, and these are all under the heading of if Manny Machado, if Eric Hosmer, if the Tommy John Trio, and if Fernando Tatis. Andy, we got a new segment. It's called the If Segment. And, uh, that's pretty interesting. So despite the team's sincere effort to prove him wrong, it turns out that uh, uh, <laughs> they're going to keep Will Myers. The size of his contract, $61 million, uh owed through 2022, and his 239 batting average really made it very hard. It's almost impossible to trade Will Myers. So he's the he, – look – he has put together periods of brilliance. He has started at five positions in the major league. He's exceptionally talented, but here's the problem with Will Myers, and nobody knows him better than me. He has a penchant, how about that, for prolonged slumps. So they tried to be patient last year. He, if you take a look at his numbers, he appeared in a lot of games, but he only... Uh, He only he didn't play a lot of innings, though, okay? So he just didn't play a lot of innings. Uh, he'll, he's going to work at all three outfield spots and even first base with the hope that the goodwill shows up. That's what we're going to call him now. We're calling him goodwill. Uh, and he earns substantial playing time in right field as well. He's going to compete there with Josh Naylor, Frenchie Cordero, and his biggest competition is himself. Now, Jeff Erickson of Rotowire made a very interesting statement on Twitter. Jeff said, look at all the outfielders that uh, San Diego traded. Renfro, uh, right? They trade a lot of outfielders, right? Reyes. And um, he says that shows a lot of confidence in Trent Grisham as a regular center fielder. He's 23 years old. He was acquired via the trade in November. Remember, he had 231 for the Milwaukee Brewers last year. Uh, and those are his only major league plate appearances. The Padres believe that he made a lot of adjustments in the minors last year and, he, and carried it to the Brewers. The fact that he hits lefty but doesn't suffer from the drop-off against lefties. Take a look at his sp splits. Um... That, that kind of excites them. The wild card in the outfield mix is Franchi Cordero. He could be. We had a, Craig Rish and I had a guest, the beat writer, who said he was, uh, he was the one guy to get. We always ask the question, name the guy that you've seen who fantasy owners don't know about but should get. Without a doubt, I, uh, he said unequivocally, 
So I need help in the chat room. If unequivocally is a word, is equivocally a, a word? If you can be unequivocally, can you be... Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, all right. Anyway, so Cordero, the most physically gifted player on the team, uh, the only one who's close could be Fernando Tantis, not Machado. He's the kind of player who, in small stretches was electric in every single plate appearance and at bat, and he demonstrated such a significant improvement last last spring and the first week of the season, and then he gets hit with an elbow injury for the second year in a row. He was on the verge of coming back, I remember, in July. I was a little hepped up to, to get him, and then he had a quad injury. So he's too good. Franchi Cordero, I'm telling you, everybody in the chat room, yeah, this is the one player to pay attention. Greg uh, Cyclonus, yeah, Carolina, is French Franchi Cordero, okay? But he is the Phil Chaplin. Good morning, Phil. Uh, Franchi Cordero is the number one player to pay attention to in the spring. Good morning to Dale. Big Al is here. What a fantastic chat room Every freaking day. I would... Oh, Andy? I'm telling you. Andy. All right, put the draft guy link in the chat room. But I'm telling you. Unbelievable. And don't forget, because you're in the chat room, 20% off. Okay? 30%. Now, I told you about Taiwan Walker and, and Cameron Mabin. Okay? That's the, uh, that's the code. 2020. Get 20% off. Now, here's a 30%, whatever you get. It doesn't matter. It's only a couple of bucks anyway. The point is this. Your last pick in any draft should be Franchi Cordero. I don't care what. Uh, take him. If you see progress, you keep him. You, your last pick in any draft should be a real speculative pick. And here's the reason. Remember... Yeah, I know he strikes out a lot. Malpal is here. Malpal knows him. Malpal from San Diego. Good morning, Malpal. Uh, the the thing about Franchi, or the thing about your last pick, you're at some point during the season you're going to pick up a player, right? And what happens if you pick up a player, Phil Chaplin? Come on, Phil. What happens if you pick up a player? What do you got to do? You got to drop a player. Amazing Met fan is here. Off the flu bug. That's are you quarantined? Amazing Met fan. All right. You want you always need a player to drop, and the worst thing that can happen to any fantasy owner is to drop a player and then have that player be a star. But you want to uh, you want to take uh, a shot. Absolutely want to take a shot with Franchi Cordero. Just please watch him very carefully. Uh, he's a potential. Power, he, he can, 2020 guy, for a dollar, okay? So get Franchi Cadero and hope for the best. Uh, over at second base, Jerickson Profar, who they acquired in trade in November, switch hitter, he, he's going to see the bulk of the playing time. Greg Garcia, now here's the thing about Greg, he got on base at a 370 clip against right-handers, Okay. Uh, yeah, they got a couple other guys, but uh, there's no room for a sixth infielder. Uh, and in Las Vegas, the books were handling bets on which five pitchers will be in the Padres starting rotation. So here's what they got. Lamette, Paddock, Richards, that's the Tommy John trio. Zach Davies and Joey Lucchese. But then Cal Quantrell is a contender. Okay, Cal Control is a contender. Michael Baez, Jared Eikhoff, they they expect to get spring training starts. Then Adrian Morhan. How about Mackenzie Gore, Reggie Lawson, Luis Patino? They're also in the big league camp. So it's going to be very fascinating to see what's going on. And the And the bullpen? One of the best, Emilio Pagan, Kirby H, Drew Pomerantz. Uh, I'm saying over 83, and I'm debating about 
what to do with that uh, twelve to one to win their division. How could you go against the how could you go against the Dodgers? That's the only thing I'm asking. All right, let's take a look at them uh individually now. Okay. Individual. See the performances. See what we get. Again, I gotta thank you all for being here and sorry for uh, just, you know, sometimes oh I got two phone calls this morning as well. Uh, very interesting phone calls, but uh, I can't tell you now. But it's going to be unbelievable. All right, Eric Hosmer. What do I expect out of Eric Hosmer this year? And I'm working very heavily to get all all the 12-team um, mixed league auction values up this week. Okay, it's uh, not easy. Our right, Eric Hosmer about a 265, 20 plus home runs. He may get 90 RBIs based upon where he bats. Profar over at second base. Uh, well, he's at Texas, so he's not playing second base in San Diego. Okay, or maybe he is. Uh, yeah, he's with San Diego. He was with Texas last year. He agreed, yeah, he agreed to a um, over $5 million contract with the Padres. 240, 21 home runs. I'll give you 21. He had 20 last year. And eight stolen bases. He had nine. So I'll say nine, ten. That's the kind of player he is, but we know that. Over at shortstop, and don't forget also that um, Fernando Tatis. Oh, baby. Fernando Tatis could be a monster this year. I'm really thinking that if Fernando Tatis and Manny Machado have the years that they are capable of having, and Will Myers, I'm sorry, my fellow Americans, and Will Myers bounces back to be the 25 home run stolen base guy. Chris Gallo, you're never late, Chris. If you're here, you're not late, okay? Uh, good morning to Chris Gallo. So I'm very interested to see the San Diego team and what transpires during the uh, spring training. But for Tatis, let me throw out some numbers of what I expect about Fernando Tatis. Uh, he'll hit you, you know, I'll say 295, 300, over 30 home runs, 90 RBIs, and 30 stolen bases. You got a 30-30 guy. 30-30, Fernando Tatis. 30, he's 21 years old. 30-30 for Fernando Tatis. If that matches up with Machado. I'm going to give Machado 285, 35 home runs, 15 stolen bases. There you go. This could be the best 1-2 combination in Major League Baseball. And Machado now, by the way, is 27. Okay? That's pretty unbelievable. Uh, I'll give you my prediction for Will Myers. It's not going to be great. You can't. I can't predict Will Myers. Okay? Will the Thrill. Now, who is Will the Thrill? Anybody know? Uh, I'd say 245, 20 homers, and and 20 stolen bases. Will Myers is going to imp- Oh, Andrea, don't kill me. I'm not going to say this about Ian Desmond. As the team goes, so goes the player. He's only 29 years old. Don't forget about Will Myers. Okay? I'm telling you, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Fam, Gresham. Uh, for Tommy Fam, he's a tough guy. Tough guy in this new ballpark. But I'm going to tell you, Tommy Fam is going to uh, is going to produce. We all know that. Tommy Fam, 280, 25 home runs, 25 stolen bay. They got three 2020 guys. I'm getting so excited about this team, San Diego, Mal Pal. We're coming out to a game. And let's see what Trent Grisham. Now, Grisham, along with Hosmer, uh, and of course, Profar, uh, left-handed hitters. Not a lot of lefties. Not a lot of lefties. Unbelievable. So now, let's see what Grisham. Um, I'm going to give Grisham. He's the guy who made the error. I know, I know, I know. But I think Grisham, they're showing a lot of confidence. 250, 15 home runs, and 10 steals. He's a lefty all the way. Remember, they got him. Uh, they traded away Luis Urias, okay? Uh, they got Grisham and Zach Davis. And they also traded away Eric Lauer. 
Uh, and, he, and Grisham was barely a prospect when two.